Hey guys, it's Ryder here with my Daredevil Season 2 official trailer breakdown. So yeah, they finally dropped the official trailer for Daredevil Season 2. I am ecstatic because, you know, this is something that I've personally been waiting for for a long, long time. It's hard to believe it's been about a year, a little less than a year, like only about 10 months. But still, it's it's been roughly a year since Daredevil Season 1 came out. I mean, that time goes by so fast, but I love Daredevil Season 1, uh, along with a lot of other people. It was, it was just a great show. It was a great show that kind of just came out of really nowhere. I think it was very highly anticipated before uh, you know, it, was, it was even out anyway, but just because it's a show about Daredevil. But it just it exceeded beyond all expectations. So, you know, everyone's kind of anticipating this next season. Now, Marvel, they just, they, they tend to do this where they just kind of drop their trailers on these very random days. Like, uh, you know, some might call it a Marvel Monday. Because, yeah, it's Monday. It's President's Day. Happy President's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And, you know, Marvel's like, hey, let's do the Daredevil trailer today. So... It, it was a great trailer. Uh, the music in the background, kind of creepy, you know, but it gave that that uh, very uh, kind of uh, feel to it, you know, like the the Punisher, the 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 Daredevil, like the uh, that that hardcore kind of feel. So it it was a pretty solid trailer throughout. Uh, the other important thing to remember about this is that this is only a part one trailer. I guess they're doing a part two part trailer, which. That says a lot because that means that they want to either reveal a lot of footage or there's something that they want us to know um, about the series before the series comes out. Like maybe they want to be like, hey, Punisher's really not the main villain of the season. It's actually going to be bullseye or we're gonna be we're gonna have uh you know vincent d'onofrio return as wilson fisk for three episodes or they you know like they might do something pretty interesting like that so i'm kind of wondering as to how why when that might end up happening um it, you know that in, in this show really but of course we would find out about this in this part two trailer um so we can just start we can get get along with this trailer breakdown okay so here we go basically it starts off and you have uh frank castle who's the punisher everyone knows that and it's like he's he's trying to cope with uh his memories of his family or whatever and he's you know looking at this book and he's in, we see his house, we see, uh, you know, license plates, we see, you know, mailboxes, and it's all kind of about him just getting ready to take this really, really dark approach to something. He's about, he's, it looks like he's, like, preparing to do something bad, which is very interesting because, you know, I, I expect, it seems like almost that uh, Frank Castle, he's not really sure of what he's about to do. And usually the Punisher, man, he knows what he wants and he just wants punishment he wants judgment he wants justice in a different form and that's what it's, it's going to be interesting because it is almost kind of like a batman v superman or captain america versus iron man civil war kind of situation between daredevil and punisher because they both want justice but the thing is you know they daredevil wants this this you know approach where it's more like I don't, I won't, I don't mind hurting people. That's the, I like hurting people or whatever. But the bottom line here is I don't need dead people. We don't need punishment for people. You know, you, there's justice. There's a difference between, you know, punishment and justice. And Punisher sees the other side of that. So we'll see what they do with that. And they do explore that in this trailer, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Uh, then you have, uh, you know, Matt Murdock, and he's in the church he's talking to. Uh, the priest and his father, and he's like, you know, or not his father, but you know, what I for even I forget his name. It's like Father something, and he's telling Matt, he's like, dude, you know, you you the reason you're feeling this way, the reason you feel terrible, the reason you're, you know, there's something missing for you is because you're not finished with what you're supposed to do, and you know, it's like getting ready to do something, um, and then you know, you have that I forget his name, but that black cop who he was in the first season. He's friends with Foggy, Foggy brings his mom cigars or whatever, and he doesn't like it, whatever. He's a funny character, but he's one of the only good cops who's not corrupted uh, in, in uh, the Hell's Kitchen police. So he's telling them, uh, he's telling Foggy and Matt, you know, hey, there's a new player in uh, Hell's Kitchen, and, you know, he's finding this way, and he's using military forces mixed with, you know, serious combat to punish 
you know, high, highly up criminals or people or whatever. Not, not, not people, but, you know, just bad people, right? The criminals. So Matt Murdock's big thing is, you know, how do, how do you, how, how are we, how am I going to stop him? Because if he's, he's not like he's doing anything to regular people, he's not going to try to blow up New York, but he's, he's not taking the right approach to justice. And I think that's going to be a big thing because I think a big question in season one was, is Daredevil taking the right approach to justice? Is, is he moving in the right direction and trying to, you know, do that? And so then you have, like, Karen Page, and she's like, well, maybe we created him, maybe, you know, the events of Daredevil, he, you know, sprouted out a, a creation of a new threat. Uh, and that, that definitely happens in the comic books, because, you know, as these regular people, they see there's these super-powered people, or the, there are these heroes that run around, then they're like, well, I can do that too, just I can be more powerful, and then that turns into a villain. So... I'd actually expect Bullseye to kind of sprout out maybe in Season 3, if we don't see him in Season 2. Uh, then we get a bunch of other great shots of Punisher Frank Castle just, you know, shooting, fighting, looking sad, looking glum, looking disturbed, upset. Then you get a bunch of great uh, action scenes and fight scenes from Daredevil. We finally see him in the suit kicking ass. And uh, I want to point out something. There was uh, one or two shots in this trailer where Matt Murdock is wearing another, a, a, a different Daredevil suit. Uh, an even more red one. Uh, looks a bit more like the one from the comics. You, you'll spot it. It's a different suit from the one that he's currently wearing. So it seems like... The Daredevil suit 1.0 is just the black, right? The the band the you know mask with no eyes, no eye holes, just all black the, from the original Frank Miller stuff. That was 1.0 suit. The 2.0 suit is the one he's currently wearing with the armor, where it's kind of like that maroon, burgundy, dark red with the black armor. So th that looks a bit more like the comics, but it looks like this even this last one or not. I don't know if it's going to be the last one, but this 3.0 suit, it's going to be you know pretty much all red and a bit more comic accurate. So for those of you who are not the biggest fan of the suit, you'll see another one, maybe even two. We know Melvin Potter's coming back, the Gladiators, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, but then you you have this other really big thing going on, and it's a big argument that they've split this big argument up between. Daredevil and the Punisher, and it's not like they're fighting, but it's like an argument. It's like the Frank Castle is trying to explain, you know, this is this is my way of justice. This is what happened to my family. My family was murdered. My family was this, and you know, this is the way I find it, you know, to be done. And your way of justice is just petty, and my way of justice is real. It is punishment. It I have what it takes to get it done. You don't. You don't. And that's the big thing. And, you know, he, you know, Daredevil's like, why are you doing this, man? Why are you doing this? And, you know, you, you don't really... I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if... I, I really don't think Punisher's, like, the big overall main villain. I mean, he could be, but it doesn't seem like there's enough motive there for him. You know, I don't know. I, this is me speaking before seeing the show, but it just seems like there's somebody else behind the whole Punisher thing too. Um, not, not controlling Punisher, but somebody who's kind of just almost even bigger than Punisher. Uh, we have a fight, a couple good fight scenes between Punisher and Daredevil, and then the, the trailer pretty much ends. You know, that's pretty much the whole thing. Just a lot of back and forth, a lot of great shots of, of everything, kind of just showing the city um, and then there's one good, great line at the end, and it's after the, you know, it's right before the Daredevil Season 2 logo appears, and it's, it's Frank Castle, and he's saying, you're just one bad day away from being me, and then you have, you know, Daredevil, he's, it looks like he's in a puddle of blood, and he's kind of just getting off, trying to get off the ground, and then it goes, it shows the logo, that was a really great line because it just kind of shows how damaged uh, Frank Castle emotionally is and physically is, you know? One bad day, meaning that, you know, if, if somebody was to go and kill all of Dar you know, Matt Murdock's friends, family, everybody he cared about even a little bit, he'd be in the same place that Frank Castle is. And I really am kind of... There's, gonna, there's a whole psychological aspect of this season where you're going to have to kind of get inside everybody's mind. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, and then there's one little teaser scene at the very, very end, and it is uh, Matt Murdock, and he goes into his apartment, and he's like, 
Electra, and then he, the camera goes to Electra Nachios, uh, and she's like, hello, Matthew, and then it's like, whoa, part two trailer coming March 20th, or, uh, February 25th, so, yeah, um, it was a pr pretty good trailer, pretty good trailer for what, what, you know, they showed us a lot, uh, you kind of showed us, it, it definitely feels different than season one, which is good, it could be missing something, though, because of the Kingpin not being there. Not saying that John Bernthal is going to do a bad job as the Punisher. I think he's going to be the best Punisher, and he's going to become this icon character. I, th I love him as an actor. But, you know, I, I do feel like the fact that w Vincent D'Onofrio won't be back, uh, as far as we know, as Wilson Fisk, I just feel like it could be missing something. But I'm, I'm looking forward to getting in the mind of Frank Castle. So let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this trailer. I'll be doing another trailer breakdown for when part two comes out uh, next week. So get ready for that. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Make sure you go check out our new Game of Thrones season six trailer breakdown. Uh, there they just dropped a big teaser for that. And tomorrow there's, there's a lot of Star Wars episode eight stuff that's going on. So I have a big video planned tomorrow for episode eight. Some new, ca there's a, the whole cast list has been revealed, all that great stuff. So let me know in the comment section your thoughts, and make sure you are subscribed to get everything. Uh, I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.